Welcome back to another episode of Mind Test Automation. And in this video, we will be looking at inventory management with the Tech Pack Mod Pack. Um, as you should already know from the little intro clip. So here is a very basic setup. Um, it's it's kind of lame, not going to lie. We have an input chest. I'm just going to go ahead and throw some items in here. Um, you know, let's just, let's just throw everything in cause, cause why not? And then we have a pusher, which, uh, has no interface. You can right click on it to enable or disable it. So if you discovered that something was broken and things aren't working, you can right click to stop it and then it'll stop pulling items from the chest. Um, everything is working fine here though, or at least it had better be. So I'm going to leave it running and we see that pushes it out through this chest down into this spinny thing, which is a distributor. And we can look from walking around it that there are four outputs. Uh, we can't see the color of this one because there's a, uh, a thing there that we will get to in a little bit. But we have yellow, red, red rather, over here, yellow, blue, and this one I believe was green. And if we right click on there, we can pull up an interface and see basically what our outputs are. So any grasses are going to go out to the red slot. Um, any of these items will go out the green. Any of these will go out the blue. Any of these will go out the yellow. Uh, this and this and this and this and this and this and this. We're all not configured to have any places to travel out. So they'll just kind of plug up. But you can see these items are being shunted out wherever they need to go. So we'll take a quick peek. Okay, so we got some grasses in this chest over here. We've got some dirts in this chest over here. And we have some stone in the chest over there. Now, we have a teleport transmitter wireless. I don't know exactly what it's called. Uh, I don't want to do that. If you right click on it, Oh, it actually won't even won't even let me do anything anymore. All right, this one either. So basically, when you first put one of these out, I've got one here. Um, it'll tell you to put in a channel string. You put two things together, and then they match back and forth. I don't know if we can do a third to it. Let's let's find out. So that channel string was just called first pair is missing. Okay, so it is only a two-way um, input and output. So this is paired to the one over there. We have a warehouse box and then we have a chest here. This looks like it is already working. It is currently in standby mode. So one thing you'll notice, or maybe you won't notice because they're all running, these devices will stop running oops, when there is nothing left for them to do. So once this chest is emptied, this pusher will stop running until something goes back in the chest. I don't know how often it scans, but uh, yeah. So currently there's nothing coming in through this wireless unit. So the warehouse box isn't doing anything. But let's take a peek at this warehouse box and see what it does. Um, this was really confusing to me until I read the wiki. And then, uh, then I was like, oh, okay, that makes sense. So... Essentially, this is what happens. Your top row here is your inventory pass-through, as the hover text says. So basically, any item that comes in, in this case from this wireless, is going through this top row. And if it does not match to any of our filters, it'll go out the output, and in this case, into this chest. You could, of course, send it right to another warehouse box. You could put it to whatever you want. doesn't really matter, but it just it passes through. It doesn't get pulled into any of these slots. So we have the filters here. So this is anything that matches these items will go into this middle slot. The middle slot is our storage. All items will be stored here as it says. And then this bottom one is so we can manually put items in. So let me just let me just grab some stuff real quick. Oh, sure. Let's grab some tubes. Because why not? You know, why not? All right. So we have some tubes here. I can put them up in the top. Uh, 
Where, where, where'd it go? Okay, clearly I can't put them up in the top. Uh, let's try putting them right here. Mm, no, doesn't work. Let's try putting them over here. Mm, no, doesn't work. But if you put them, so this bottom row essentially is how you add items to the to the middle row. And now you might be asking yourself, well, this looks kind of silly. I can only store one stack of items. Mm, yes, but actually, yes, but actually, no. Um, this is a steel box. Oh, and because it's in standby mode, it doesn't tell me anything about it. So that's that's pretty cool. Let's take a look. We have three different ones. We have copper, we have gold, and we have a steel. And as you can see in the hover text here, there's eight slots. In the case of the steel, you can stack 400 items in a stack. Um, I believe that won't work for tools, like anything with metadata where it has a wear bar. I don't think you can stack ever. Um, and then we have a copper box, which is stacks of 1,200. And the goal is stacks of 3,600. So if you were storing lots of lots of dirt, you know, this might be something useful. So we are going to go ahead. Oh, I can't because it's got something in it. All right. So we want to filter out chests because because why not you know why not um, I'm gonna need a lot of chests uh, the easiest way to do this actually is probably not this because this is gonna take ages so can't we do give me default chest negative one and won't that give us okay um Oh, I don't have the give. Okay. I thought I gave myself the needed privileges before doing this. There we go. Absolute max stack. Uh, and we're going to go ahead and clear everything up. I'm unsure of what order it pulls items from. It looks like it starts from the left and goes to the... No, no. Oh, does it do it evenly? Oh, oh, that's nice. I did not realize that was the case. All right, so the chests are not being sorted currently. So let's let's add the chests to the output here to green. I really hope green is going to the right place. It should be. Uh, yes, please turn on. Thank you very much. We should have items. There we go. This is saying, mm -mm, don't want chests. This is saying, mm, I want chests. Taking the chest, the two blow back holes. Still going through to this chest. We don't, we don't want those. Actually, you know what though? Let's let's take them. Let's 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 just do this. You know, boom. Um. Also, let's turn this on. There we go. So now, I don't know where it put those black hole. Oh, I, I suppose we should probably um explain what the black hole is as well you know because that might be smart okay so we have red is doing these grasses i mean come on Let, let's let's be real for a minute nobody wants grass like it's pointless so what we're gonna do is take one of these black holes and i don't actually know how to use this so hopefully this works zero items disappeared okay 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 i think that means it's configured right let's go ahead and throw some grass up in here so now theoretically all right so if that was a good edit um we'll have some of the grasses pulled and you'll never know there was an edit oops so you can't open it which makes sense still says zero items disappeared though oh let me that still doesn't do anything it's okay i just saw it take a jungle grass Still says zero items disappeared though. Well, where where are they going if they're not disappearing? Oh, oh no, it's it's facing the wrong direction. Okay, now maybe we're good. There we go. Four items disappeared. 
So it works like a trash can and just deletes stuff. I didn't realize there was an, a specific input slot on it. Oops, my bad. All right, this is really taking ages. So we are going to amp it up a little bit. Um, um, here we go. So there's a high performance pusher and a high performance pushing chest. I don't know what the difference is there. We're just going to bada bing, bada boom. Oh, I need a I need a tool to break that, and that's cool. Uh, let's try a diamond axe. I actually don't know if that's the right tool to use. No, it doesn't. Look, oh, maybe it has to be turned off first. It has to be turned off first. Okay, go figure. Okay, so we have this high performance pusher. I don't know if this does stack wise. I'm guessing it probably does. Hmm. I felt like I saw a big jump in what it was pushing out. 67, 74, 68, 12. Uh, it looks like it's doing the the exact same. And this inventory isn't filled. But you know what? Not not to worry. There is still a high-performance distributor. Now, unfortunately, if I put a high-performance distributor here, I'm going to have to redo the whole thing. So, uh, you know what? We're actually going to uh, just cheat a little bit. Uh, it's not really it's not really cheating per se. We're gonna shut that off. Um, I don't know if this is a wise idea. It probably isn't. And we're just gonna do this. And then we're gonna come over here, grab these stacks and stacks of chests, throw them in here, kick this fella in high gear. Uh, you know, we're gonna turn that off because it doesn't know what to do with stuff anymore. We're gonna go ahead and throw some more chests in here. Hopefully that's it. hopefully that's enough. Keep running, keep running. I'm still only seeing one chest come through. This is kind of kind of lame. Not gonna lie. Thought high performance meant it did like stacks or something. That went fast. This doesn't seem very fast. Well, the the idea here is that this works. Let's try this way. Yes, <laughs> except I lost half of my items. So that was a little disappointing. <laughs> Good thing I literally did no work to get those. Oh, no, wait, I didn't lose them. Right here they be back in my chest or in my inventory rather. And now because this is stacked with 3,600 of them, it's just passing them on through the chest here. It worked. It worked. All right. Well, that is inventory management with the tech pack mod. Again, we have distributors, which allow us to sort. We have pushers, which allow us to move things. We kind of have these integrated sorter slash pushers slash inventory holders, which are actually pretty neat. Um, again, of course, I did everything in creative, so I have no idea what the craft recipes look like. Um, that's not really the point of this series. This is to explain how to use the mods, not how to craft the items. You can get yourself a craft guide and find that out very easily.